Да! Да! So this piece of apple right here has great figure, great everything. It's rotted through. Uh, I got this from my, my other house. I had a couple of apple trees and I decided to knock them down because they were rotting out. So I think we're going to cut this up and see if we can do something with it. I'm going to have to clean it really good because there is dirt and all sorts of stuff down in here. Let me show you right in here. See if you can see it all the way through. We're gonna do something with this, I don't know. So, let's get it going. All right, here we are with the table. You can see right here, this thing's got a lot of dirt in it. Uh, I'm gonna have a lot of work ahead of me to get it all out so I can use it. But I think we're gonna use this piece right here for the bowl. I'd like to use this in another bowl, but this one, we're going to use this. So let's get to cleaning this up and I'll get rid of the other two pieces. We're gonna do something so incredibly stupid. You guys are really gonna enjoy it. We're gonna let my Instagram, Facebook, and subscribers on YouTube choose the color for this bowl. So if you're wondering what colors they are, it was black onyx and pink plastic, pigment dispersion, black and red, orange and olive drab, and then brown and fluorescent green. We're going to Post those to Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube, and we're gonna give you four choices of color combinations, and we're gonna let you choose which one it is. Wow, that was unexpected. Which one did you expect to win? I expected this one to win, but it only got 13 votes, so it's out. And then my second guess was that you guys were gonna choose the brown and fluorescent green because it's so unusual. Nope, it only got 16 votes. So which one of these two won? Well, this one got 18 votes. That's a bunch. But this one right here, the orange and the olive drab got 23 votes. So with that being said, let's go ahead and pour it.
So I'm not sure if you guys are able to see this. There are there's this little stress crack right there. It looks mm -hmm. like, I mean, it's just like three little lines. Um, I'm not sure how to fix that because I don't. I may have to take it over and glue up some re or something around here, and then put it in a vacuum to get that in there. So.
Wow, this stuff is freaking hard. See how white it is? It's all that dirt in there that uh, got as much out as I could, but there's dirt in there and that's what's causing this. Big old heat cracks inside there. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna fill those up over at the vacuum and we'll deal with this tomorrow. choice bowl man you guys picked some pretty cool colors now let's talk about it i did not wait long enough to keep this separated i think i poured at like 110 because i i needed to get it into the grooves and i need to get it in the vacuum fast uh because once it starts heating up and it's about 110 you got minutes before it starts hardening up so i ended up throwing this into the vacuum and i've got a little bit of a swirl there but not much i used way too much olive drab so if i do this again i'm gonna have to change up uh how much olive drab i use maybe use like a quarter of the orange and it'll swirl a lot better and i'll wait until it hits 125 for the heat of the resin uh, you'll notice I, I use this quite a bit when i'm doing swirl stuff it tells me the temperature of the resin so, I am not happy with the finish on this. Um, I sanded and 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 sanded. Felt like forever. And I still have some, some, some sanding marks in there. I mean, I, I sanded up to like almost 1500 and it uh, still looks like it. But then the finish, the OB Shine Juice doesn't adhere to this this i guess it might be the pigment that did this the 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 paste the olive drab that i used and the dispersion it just doesn't adhere to it very well so it's got more of a matte finish than it does a than a glossy finish that's all right it looks like a woodland camouflage all right i'm gonna put this down the first uh 
first comment down below i'll pin it down there like i always do with my etsy store if you're interested in purchasing it head on down click on the link go check out what else i got in my shop i put up stuff uh that sometimes i don't do videos on so you might see something good all right, I appreciate you guys stopping by. If you could, hit that thumbs up button and share the video. If you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button. I got a lot more coming. If you don't, I'm still happy that you watch my videos. And until next one, stay cool.